Good evening all please just watch this viral video on TikTok and think if we can have another general elections, then who will you vote for please comment below. Well, I don't think this petition will result in a general election, even if it got, I mean, if it got to 9.7 million uh, people <laughs> voting in favour of another election, that's the same number of votes that Labour got, so that would be interesting. Mm. But I, th I think there's every, people say to me, Ben, there's no chance of this government giving up its huge majority, no matter what happens between now mm. and 2029. And I don't agree. I think that there are pressures that can't, can come to bear that could force this government back to the electorate. Mm. And um, the most obvious one is a collapse in the economy. And I think some of the measures taken by Rachel Reeves already are not playing out the way she expected them mm. to play out. Sterling, I don't know if people are watching, but Sterling is down 7% against the dollar in the last three months. That's a very significant move in sterling, and that's not a general strengthening of the dollar. That is sterling weakening on its own. That is basically people saying they don't want to buy British products, they don't want to buy British debt, British investments. And a crucial component of this government being able to finance itself mm. is foreigners buying British bonds. And we... D they don't need to buy British bonds. You know, most people uh, as investors have to have some exposure to US treasuries because the dollar is the currency of the world. But the ster sterling isn't. It's not the reserve currency of the world. So people don't have to buy our bonds. And there's a very, very real possibility that she's got her numbers wrong, mm. that she will need to borrow more money than she says she's going to have to borrow, that growth will go through the floor, it will be in a recession. In fact, all the indicators are that we're heading into a recession. Unemployment will rise. And even if they put up interest rates, they won't be able to get people to buy British government bonds. Then you have the United Kingdom going off to the IMF cap in hand, saying, please, can we have a bailout? And that would be a disaster for any government. And I think that you can then force a general election on a government if they absolutely collapse the economy.